Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh by Shem Shai by Shem Kakradash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird among the heathen, that look like the heathen. And to the aquaf that are listening and learning, to you I say shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you with another lesson in truth. And um, the inspiration of the video that I'm going to do today was uh, a short video compilation of of, uh, of Edomites complaining about um, Putin um, dropping bombs, you know, on women and children when, you know. America has been doing that every, I mean, since forever, all right, through, through from, from as long as I can remember, through, you know, through, through, from, from Reagan to the, all, to the, all the Bushes to, to, you know, uh, from, uh, uh, Clinton to, to, uh, uh Obama, you know, <laughs> the, uh, constantly, but Obama was constantly talking about predator drones. I mean, how many times that you know that you look on the news where a predator drone had struck a whole wedding and killed a whole bunch of uh, 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 you know brown people, you know Israelites, Arabs, and things of that nature, and you know dropping and bombing in different African nations in Libya and you know in, in Syria. I mean the list just goes on and on and on and on and on, and women and children dying. And but yet when when it starts happening to to Edomites, they you know there's this there's this cry out. Well, guess what? A whole bunch more of you are going to die, man. There ain't nothing you can do about it. All right? This is prophecy coming to pass, but let me grab uh, a couple quick scriptures. Take these glasses off. I was trying to find... I had a list, and now it seems to be uh, evading me. I had a list of all the all the U.S. bombings, and, you know, and it was, it was, <laughs> it was over 30, you know? On, on this list, and, and that's just a small portion of it, but you know, and, and regime overthrows and things like that. But let me get to these scriptures. Um, the first scripture is going to be um, Second Ezra's eleven and in, in, uh, thirty-two. So let's go there. Second Ezra's. 11 and 32 and it reads but this head put on, put the whole earth in fear and bear rule over it o over all those that dwelt upon earth with much oppression and it had governance of the world more than all the wings that that had been and you know even though this scripture is talking about Esau in the ancient world it but you know the, remember the, the it's, it's many fold you know, the, the, the duality of the scriptures. So it's talking about now too. You know, that's clearly that's clearly Esau Edom. And they did rule over the world with, with, with wicked oppression from, from the time that they came into power until now. You know, in the in the book of Maccabees, it, you know, it tells you that uh wicked came into the earth when Esau get came into power. You know, and they've been in power pretty much ever since, except for that thousand year period in the dark ages, you know, prior in, until they came back into power in, in during the Renaissance. All right, let's shoot up to uh, verse 46. And it reads, that all the earth may be refreshed and may return being delivered from the violence that she may hope for judgment and mercy of him that made her. So that's what everybody's waiting for. That's why, you know, you constantly hear her say, the earth is in dire need of new management. All right, because there'll never be peace. And serenity, and you know, on, on Earth, as long as uh, uh, as long as E is in control, man, as long as they ha they're sitting in the power seat, there's always going to be death, violence, starvation, crime, all of that. You know, because that's that's how their their uh, uh, um, how that kingdom thrives. You know, that's how that's how that's basically the way that they rule. There is no other way with these people, and, and their history, their, their history shows it. You know. This is uh, 2 Ezra 12 and 24, and it reads, And those that dwell therein with much oppression above all those that were before them 
Therefore, they are called the heads of the eagle. See, once again, we, this was talking about uh, ancient, ancient Edomites, going, going back to when they were in rulership during the time of Greece and Rome. But it still refers to them today because they got dominion over the earth when the Lord comes back. It's clear that he's coming to visit the house of Basra. And, you know, Isaiah 63 and 1, when Yahweh comes back, he's got to take the power seat from, from, uh, from the beast system, which is headed by Esau Edom. Be, uh, Esau Edom is, is a control of, of, of the beast. All right, and that beast being NATO, and America sits at the head of it. But let me uh, play this video and let you hear the hypocrisy of these people complaining about death and destruction when it's happening to their own. And they just out, and outwardly just out blatant racism um, in the media when it comes to uh, having no um, no compassion for people that are not them. You, you'll hear it. Let me just pull it up. And hopefully, you know, I'm outdoors and I don't have my little speaker. I hope it's loud enough. But, um, yeah, it's uh, the narrative changes. His helicopters and his rockets. And so, of course, I, I understand and respect. For me, I'm sorry. It's really emotional for me because I see European people with blue eyes and blonde hair being shielded. Well, let me pause that. It says, because it's also in... Uh, the subtitles it says the BBC is very emotional for me this is this was on the BBC and it says it's very emotional uh, for, for me because I see European people with blue eyes and blonde hair being killed Ukraine's deputy chief prosecutor David you know whatever however the hell you say his bug that ass last name but he, he didn't feel that same compassion when it's Syrian children women and children with brown skin and brown eyes right when it's Palestinian uh, uh, women children with brown hair and brown eyes especially when it's so-called negroes with brown hair and brown eyes you know or, or some of those african nations had no problem then all right but he, he but he was emotional when he saw the same thing happening to people with uh with 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 uh blonde hair blue eyes but let's let's continue um alan mcloyd this was uh and this says to put it bluntly these are not refugees from syria as if it was okay if they were refugees from Syria. It says, these are not refugees from Syria. Um, these are refugees from Ukraine. They're Christians. They're white. They're similar to us, explaining why Poland... Wow, man, let's let it play. Putin's missiles and his helicopters and his rockets. And sir, of course, I, I understand and respect... We are on est au 21e siècle, on est dans une ville européenne et on a des tirs de missiles de croisière comme si on était en Irak ou en Afghanistan, vous imaginez on est au 21e siècle, on est dans une ville européenne et on a des tirs de missiles de croisière comme si on était en Irak ou en Afghanistan, vous imaginez Ok, he was speaking in French, so I'm going to read the subtitles. It says, uh, this is BFM TV in France. We are in the 21st century, we are a European city and we have cruise missiles fired though we were, as though we were in Iraq or Afghanistan. Can you imagine? You, you hear the, the hypocrisy of these devils? They letting it off and for all you melanated people you know you non-israelites but other brown people who subscribe to these people man you you <laughs> look when the israelites are ruling the earth there will be peace on earth the scriptures clearly says when the uh when the righteous are unruled the people rejoice but when the wicked are unruled the people mourn and the whole world is mourning right now okay um it's hard to even even listen or read this man Let me see. Let me. Yeah, this is too much background noise. I'll just read it. But it says, uh, this is uh, ITV in the UK. Um, and it says, the unthinkable has happened. This is, this is not a developing third world nation. This is Europe. Like, love, so, <laughs> well, I never. No, bitch, you are now. <laughs> All right? But, um, you know, that's that's enough for that, man. I was going to let it play through, but, uh, yeah, let me just turn that off and get back into the scriptures, man, because that's, that's annoying, man. Very annoying. Um... This is, uh... Wisdom of Solomon. Let me pull it up. 
Shoot, it's kind of chilly out here in the shade, man. Over there in the sun, it's nice, but in this shade, you, you remember that you're in Chicago. Yeah, my fingers are freezing. Hold on. Um, just bear with me for a moment. This is what's Ms. Solomon, uh, 2, 10, and 11. All right? And it reads, Let us oppress the poor uh, righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Let our strength be the law of justice, for that which is feeble is, n is found to be worth nothing. I'm going to read that again because that's the true, uh, uh, that's what you just heard. That is what you just heard. <laughs> All right. When they when they said, you know, uh, this is not people in Syria. This is people with blue hair and, and well, I mean, with blue eyes and blonde hair. These are Europeans. These are Christians. All right. It said, let us op oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the aged. And Esau Edom, as he was slaughtering my people here in America to take take the land so that he can allow his people to come in on, on much of the thousands of acres for free. Watch that movie uh, Far, Far and Away. You think I'm lying. You think I'm playing. All right. It says, therefore, let us lie and wait for, for the righteous <clears throat> because he is not for our term. He is clean contrary, contrary to our doings. He upbraideth us with his offending of the law and objective to our infamy and transgressions of our education. You, you, know, you damn right. We do. All right. We object to your wicked, evil ways. And the Lord is going to come, and, and, and you're going to be visited, man. You're going to be visited. Let's go to, uh, matter of fact, let's shoot over to Wisdom of Solomon uh, 12. This is uh, 9 and 10. And it reads, not that, not, not that thou was unable to bring the ungodly under the hand of the righteous in battle, or to destroy them at once with cruel beasts, or with one rough word, but executing thy judgments upon them little by little, thou gavest them place of repentance, not being ignorant that they were not a naughty generation, that their malice was bred in them, and that their conjugation would, would never be changed. And even though that was actually talking about Jake being wicked, um, Esau will never, never change. And the Lord is bringing judgment upon them. Well, it was little by little, but he's turning that faucet on, man. It's getting to be a lot. All right. It's getting to be a lot, man. And and you best believe that uh, uh, the hammer's going to come down on Esau, Edom. His days truly are numbered. Hey, well, so with that, man, I hope this was, uh, you know, uh, enlightening, edifying, and informing. Call Halal Yahweh Bashem Al Shai Bashem Rakakwadash Wa Ababa Ba Kwam Yasharala Shalawam.